the purpose of this is to is to help people like me who want to go at something quite challenging, um, which is the Bumble Boogie bass line uh, on piano. If you haven't played this or haven't learned a discipline like this before, and you're aware of the famous Bumble Boogie bass line, which is used by people like Jules Holland or Liberace, um to give you an opportunity to play it. Uh, I'll play it kind of full speed so you know what it is and then I'll take it down into its component parts. So we're starting on A. Now, from the YouTube tutorial videos I've seen, there's this run in the middle. I can't see it being used by anybody. They tend to use the A and to the D. I'll take the component parts slowly so people can understand what I'm talking about. The whole thing is based on Flight of the Bumblebee and was done by a well-known jazz pianist in the 40s. It starts in A, so we start in a, a bass A, and you have this run-up, which is... So you've got A, A, C, D, E flat, E, and then a bass E. And that repeats. That, that's the first part of the sequence. Now, again, thanks to Travel Champion for, for uh, outlining this. I'm not entirely sure whether you need it, but it's a useful run to get you between two chord sequences. So there's a run which goes A, B, C, E, then back down like this. And then back down to, which is your D, C, B, A. And then you move from your A to the natural D, which is exactly the same shape as the A. So if we put that together, and then back to the A again. Now to finish off, you have a drone on F followed by the E twice. Now this is probably the most difficult part, getting the timing sorted for this. To get back into the actual beat and end up with your pinky so that you can stretch out to the octave V. So I'm using thumb, middle finger, thumb, middle finger, middle finger, then ring finger, then pinky, so that I can get straight back. I'll take that once again slowly. So we start off with the A. So it's A, A, then C, D, E flat, E. B, C, top E, and repeat. I'm going to skip that this run. I'll play it one last time just for people if they want to, to learn it, which is your A, B, C, E, D, C, B, A. You don't need it for the linkage. Uh, uh, Jules Holland certainly doesn't play it in his Bumble Boogie. So you've got the straight to and then back to the A. Then just a straight hammer of F and E.
So you're getting back from your E chromatically and ending up like this. So playing it at the full speed is anything that you want it to be from about 140 up. Um, don't look up Flight of the Bumblebee because you'll find 320 beats per minute which is some mad guitarist um, from far away land playing it at hugely great speeds and if you want to play it at 320 then you will beat his Guinness World Record so try and learn it nice and slowly practice the hell out of it at say 60 beats per minute, 70 or 80. Don't try and rush it at 140 or 150 or above because you'll end up doing this and running triplets or you, know, you will not play the, the, the correct note spacing. Try and visualise each of your fingers as you play it so that you can see it in your mind's eye. The slower you play it, the more legato you play it, and the fact that you can actually visualise each of your fingers as they run down the notes will make it easier for you to play the next day, even if it seems as tough as hell right now. But when it comes back to this run... Chromatically running from e, e back down to A. Try and end up in that pinky, so you got the... Thumb in the uh, middle finger, thumb, middle finger. And you need your last three middle ring pinky to naturally finish that run.